Hey everybody and welcome back to Not So Historic Gaming. We are back on my Confederate Cavalry Officer campaign. Starting off as a Lieutenant Colonel with the 30th Virginia in the Army of the Potomac. Now I have gone ahead and did my camp in my last video. I've got an action going, I believe. I didn't even check that. Let me double check. Yes, I do have an action going, and if last time you remember, I've pushed up my leisure time, and it is at nine and a half days until it is complete. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the 50 times, just because really, unless you're in a, uh, you're controlling your old, old army, if you're riding around with somebody else and they're in command, you might as well hit that 50 times and get to the next location as quick as possible so that they can go ahead and do their orders. You're not doing much of anything right now. Alright, so new command. You are a com command of a single unit. So this is just telling me that I am in command of my own uh, regiment. It's also telling me what I can use the prestige, how to gain prestige, and how I can spend it if necessary. Now, this last part about policies and projects, I went over that a little bit in my review video. Whenever we get there, I'll discuss it some more. But for now, let's go ahead and keep on moving. Okay, you're going to see these newspaper articles pop up immensely. There's, there's nothing you can do that's going to pause your game. Well, I have mine set where it will pause it every time. But... It is going, those are going to give you a little snippets of what else is going on around the, the war because you are not the only one fighting. The AI is also fighting each other, which is going to affect your battle readiness. Okay, now we are getting into our first engagement. We are going to be fighting the second division of the Army of Northeastern Virginia. They have 30,000 men who are 17,700. They also have 300 cavalry. To our 300, they have 56 guns. To our 33 guns. So we are vastly, vastly outnumbered. It is important that we play this right, and hopefully General Beauregard is going to lead us to victory. Alright, so let's get into this battle. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever done the cavalry route. Uh, please leave me comments. Anything you see that I can improve on. Like I said, this is a beginner channel to just kind of help beginners like me. There's a lot, of you, a lot of you guys out here that do the videos on these games and some excellent content. Y'all are so quick that it's hard to, hard to pick up on. Constantly pausing and re rewinding. So I'm trying to do a slower play for us new guys that really love these type of games but like any strategy game when you jump into a new one it is there's a huge learning curve you gotta learn all over again because none of these games are the same all right so on the loading screen it's telling me the union fields 32,000 and we are fielding 18,500 so they've got us quite well. It's not quite two to one, but it's pretty close. And depending on the setup, is going to depend really what we need to do. Hopefully we're defending. It's a lot easier to defend with less men than it is to attack. All right. May have to remember to snip some of this because this is kind of taking a little longer than normal. Okay. So this is going to be our combat report, our orders. They're just telling us, again, what we already know. But on this, it's telling us because the first army is the only one that's here. He only has 13,000 men. So for the first, first little bit, we actually have an advantage. I forgot to go over that. So notice Fog of War is on. But there's little little ways you can find out. So you have your entry points. Those are going to be determined by arrows. The Confederate is always red. 
the Union is always blue. <laughs> so when I'm first in battle, I like to try and find their their points. Let me go ahead and turn this headquarters off real quick. Now if I look, their entry point is over here, which means they are coming from somewhere from the west. And it seems to be the that is the only entry point that they are coming from. And it is important because I have forgotten to check this. Oh, like, see, this isn't the only entry point. They have another one that's actually coming in from the east as well. So, southeast of me. So, I need to make sure when I'm uh, going into battle formations, not so much now because I'm only a regiment, but it's more important later in game. Because if you just do a straight line, they come across or attacking you, your front. And then another unit comes in from the side or from behind you, it can really hurt your odds of winning the battle. So make sure you're paying attention to their entry points. Alright, now let's get talk about this headquarters. Now this this is going to be your battle report. It's going to tell you who all's here, what are they doing. Me, I really don't really check this too much in-game, like during battles, but I definitely like to check it after the fact. It's going to tell tell us how many men we have total it's going to tell us how many units have ran how many are missing how many are killed in action how many how many enemies did that unit defeat in battle how many times were they in contact it'll also tell you who is leading those so i forgot to check out exactly who my commanding officer was cuz i'm a dope like that so let's figure it out real quick. That's a shame. I really like uh, being under Longstreet. He's just... His contributions to the Civil War were just great. And he was a lot smarter than his position. There are several times in history that if maybe we had followed what Longstreet was saying, we the war could have been um, a completely different scenario. But... It ended the way it did. And there's nothing wrong with that. Alright, so. I am in 1st Brigade under Brigadier General Bonham. There I am, Lieutenant Colonel Coleman with the 30th Cavalry. Alright, if you notice, my fame is only at 20. My leadership is at 3. Initiative is 34. Administration, 43. Cunning, 5. Which ranks me as the 6th. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure exactly what these rankings are. But, I'm sure the more I play, the more I realize. I believe that has to do with how well you're performing in the battle. Because there are um, battle stars that you'll get showing how well your unit does in battle. Alright, so let's go ahead and push play. Get this battle started. And hopefully we won't take too many losses. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it on 20 real quick. Just to give him. So he can go ahead and push out orders. Alright. So. General Bonham is telling me that I need to take this objective. So he is telling me to ride ahead. And take this objective. I'm going to go over to my. Cavalry unit. I want to make sure I click it so I can see my picture. Now I do a lot of the fighting. Like going back and forth, back and forth. Now I'm going to go ahead and ride ahead by right clicking. And being the cavalry, I will be a little quicker than the infantry. We're going to go ahead and do five times. And hopefully get there, actually. Let's go ahead and move it up 20 times just so we can get there. Alright, so if you notice there was that little symbol that popped up, that's telling me that I'm getting prestige for getting it to where he commanded me to be. Now I'm going to take my cavalry unit and I'm going to put him on this fence. There we go. But I'm also going to dismount him. Cavalry troops do really well dismounted. We'll keep it at 50 time, 20 times for a minute, sorry. Alright, so I just gained 100 more prestige. 
because we took that objective. It's going to give me a report. This is from me because I am the one that captured the objective. Alright. There are reports that there are enemies in my area. If you see on the map, we can actually see those enemies. Now, I'm really nervous that we're not paying attention to our rear enough, but that's part of being a subordinate. You don't really get to make those calls. Obviously, it's a huge force coming from that direction, so I want to make sure that... Keep an eye, because... I don't want my troops getting wiped out. This is the first battle. I can't recall, but I don't think on any of my previous playthroughs, we actually win this fight. So, troops are moving into position. This is the Battle of Fairfax Siege. I can already hear the alt artillery going off. I don't know what kind of lines they're ma Beauregard's making because we're just kind of gaggled up in this area, which is not going to do well for us. All right, we're going to go ahead and move it back 20 times just until we can see what's going on. I don't know why Beauregard's way out in front. He's going to get himself killed or injured. Oh, and that, like I said, that's what I was worried about, that there would be another unit coming from our south. to be where I'm at, but I really don't like having my cavalry on the front line. But I will just go ahead and stay here right now. We are looking at a minor defeat. So, currently we've lost 152 troops to the enemy's 20. So, it's already not looking good for us. You gotta remember though, historically, the Confederacy had a lot worse weapons. They were just ill-equipped. The Union Army had, you know, the best weapons at the time. They were disciplined, they were trained. Yes, you had troops coming from both sides. You had the military was shaken, half half the troops went home to fight for their native states. But when they left the military, they couldn't take what they had with them. It looks like the 29th New York just broke. And now the 16th New York is advancing. Now I don't normally play on 20 times, but for the sake of this video and time, I'm going to go ahead and keep it on there. It is at my first battle. I know I'm not going to be doing a lot, in, especially since they have not really given me too many orders. Now, I might ride over here and come to attack this artillery. It looks like this is primarily artillery up No, it is not. They're just all grouped together. And you got five infantry regiments, one cavalry regiment. Now, if I can come around, which I might do, and try and take out their artillery, which will help us, which is actually what I'm going to do. I gotta go back and get. We are all kind of clustered up right here. So I'm going to come over here. We are 
under current, current fire. They're moving because they're trying to. That's really close. Gauge it will because I pushed forward, but I am actually going to back myself up because if not, I'm going to get my whole unit wiped out. So let's go ahead and come back here. Right now, let's see. It's our first battle, so morale's a little lower from that because of experience. We are outflanked, so we're hurt because of that, and then we also have a routed unit nearby. So this unit must have routed at one point that is going to severely affect you know troops don't want to be near guys that have already taken off and run I routed my guys just would not turn around quick enough I probably shouldn't have done that honestly but It's okay, you live and you learn. I lost 19 troops, we are broken. We are actually at a minor victory right now, which is crazy, because like I said, I've never actually won this battle, I believe. We just have to continue to hold the objective. We got Lieutenant Colonel Strange's detachment, which is also in their first conflict. It's going to be everybody's first conflict. The, the Army's first battle of the war. We already have the, 15th, the 18th Virginia Infantry, Colonel Withers. He has actually been wounded in action already. So that is not going to be good for the morale of our men. If you notice, a lot of their morale is real low. He's, about to, he's unstable, he's about to break. Sloan is confident. They are just beating away at our confidence here. Let's see. Let's see if this forward. Bugle playing. Artillery by itself. No, but they did get. They are moving to attack the right side of our line or the left side of our right side to them. Let's move over here and try to protect our artillery. I don't know why we have artillery right up front. back here. Looks like they are they have pushed through the small little detachment we had over there. Now once those guys come behind us we are in trouble. They are setting up right behind us. <coughs> it 
It is 5.15 or 5.20 in the afternoon. Unlike nowadays in the Civil War times, they did not do a lot of fighting at night. So, in the in game, they incorporated that. So, at nighttime, we will not be battling anymore. We'll be reassessing and redeploying our troops. So, it looks like we will definitely be going into a day two of the Battle of Fairfax. Also, another thing I'm going to need to look into doing is upgrading my weapons. Right now we have mixed cavalry weapons. There's a large force coming at us. They have pinched us. We are kind of scattered and if you look, our, our lines are way over here. And here we sit with this huge force behind us. Personally, I'd be trying to straighten up lines. I'm trying to make sure that we did not get surrounded. Alright. So it is going to automatically redeploy us. We are in charge of nothing if we are able to. See where it puts us. It actually left us exactly where we were, which is not good. Probably because we are basically surrounded right now. Looking too terrible. Let's let's see how everything's going. Okay, so right now we have lost 875 men. The enemy casualties are at 1,400. So we're actually doing fairly well. Uh, we've only lost five tenths of a percentage more troops. But when you think about it, they have us almost two to one. So we're actually doing relatively well considering the amount of force we are facing we currently hold the objective our morale is a little bit better than theirs but they have routed more and lost less and now they're making that big push to the rear we're going to go ahead and send our unit to attack this Infantry regiment that is for some reason in the middle of our troops, which kind of makes no sense. I've never seen an enemy general, you know, tell his men, hey, go in the middle of their lines. Yeah. All that's going to do is help us if he keeps making silly mistakes like that. We've done a pretty good job annihilating this, the units that were over here to our east, or to our west, excuse me. And again, another one has routed, so we'll actually be able to turn our forces to all face this main element coming in. Bring my troops back again, protecting our artillery. I was awesome. here. Again, being mindful of where everything is. Yeah, it seems like the bulk of their army is over here at Cub Run by the Grisby Farm. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push forward a little bit once this line is in place so that 
I could potentially outflank. Seven hundred strong. Looks like they are sure they are getting on our flank. Pause. See, that's the only problem with running at twenty times. They can make movements before I have a chance to react to them. We're going to do a charge into their artillery, hopefully getting rid of those guns. you got to be careful because those infantry are right there. be in contact because there we go we broke and actually we <coughs> we are getting the hell out of dodge it looks like all right so right now we're panicked we've lost 54 men so we've lost a sixth of our Regiment here, we are panicked. Hey, our ammunition looks good. So, once we can get a little bit of stability or confidence going, our cohesion is still intact. Our fatigue, we are rested. We're now nervous. We're still sitting at a minor victory. Hopefully, we can keep that up. And Beauregard, I don't know what he's doing here. These lines are shoddy. These, like, the fact that we're we actually have a chance at victory right now is just beyond me. I don't understand this formation he's got going at all. Okay, we are now stable. We're gonna move forward. We're gonna get online with our infantrymen, and we're gonna dismount and try and hold the area. Okay, so down here are the tabs. I didn't go over that. You can set what kind of formations you're wanting, what the infantry is doing. For cavalry, since I'm, a, I'm gonna hit, click this mounting button, it's gonna dismount, and you can actually see it on screen. Let's see. Ooh, what is going on today? If you notice, my troops are ahead, are up front, and their forces are in the back. So, right now we're like a small infantry unit with really fast shooting guns, but unfortunately, the faster the shooting guns, the more ammunition they will let out. I'll push forward just a little bit. To day three. So, so far, you know, this is going in day three of the Battle of Fairfax. Hopefully, we don't change up too much. Even though, like I said, this is a weird line, but apparently it is working. So, 
so he did not redeploy us. I guess he likes what we're doing, so we'll keep it up. They are about to take the objective, though, which is not good, because we're going to start... It's going to really change the tide of battle if they get that objective, but there's not much our little bitty tower unit can do. And there are a lot of them and a few of us, but we are... It is the battle is actually swinging in our favor. It looks like we are actually about to win it. So they have lost 4,500 men. And we've lost 3,400. And if you notice, there's this little arrow up here. That's going to tell you how close. If it gets all the way over here, you're, the Confederate will win. If it gets all the way over here, the Union will win. So it was really close to that Confederate side winning, but then it. You notice it's starting to tick back up. It just depends on the tide of the battle, what's going on. Our right flank is holding rather well. It looks like our left flank. They're doing what they need to, but there's a lot of broken units over there. <coughs> so, really, with the amount of men they have, I, I don't want to say we want it, but. Right now it's looking like, you know, pretty good. But there it goes, it's starting to tick back up. It's actually moving quite quick. That's because our left flank is pretty much gone. Everybody that was over there has been demoralized. Alright, so we've been ordered to come in as reserve. Which is really kind of a scary thought don't want to lose all my men but I also follow orders so let's go ahead and mount them up real quick Some reason. Oh, my unit's broken. When did we break? We didn't even come in contact with anybody. I looked over our shoulder and saw our left side getting destroyed. So I won't be able to move until my morale is back. They have taken the objective. So now we're going to start seeing a huge swing in victory points for them. me to go in and take the objective all right that probably won't happen oh i have actually withdrawn from the battle my guys were a bunch of cowards they're scared in the face of the enemy and my commander apparently myself has decided we don't want to be in this battle no more so that means this battle will shortly be lost i've noticed after the player's character leaves yeah well, it ended up being ended up being a draw. Now we did get 130 prestige, but that's because we took objectives and reached combat zones. We were routed once, so that's a negative effect on us. But 
this is our first battle of Fairfax, which ended in a draw. I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the draw. It's close to a victory I've come in this game. So, we're going to continue on with our cavalry unit, our cavalry regiment on our next video. I'm going to go ahead and get it out of here and onto the main screen. Ooh. Okay. So, obviously when I become rise up higher, I'll be able to command more troops and do more. But for now, I'm just a lonely cavalry. If you've got any suggestions on a better way to play the cavalry officer, I am more than happy to hear. Like I said, this is beginner gamer. Like I'm learning, and hopefully you can learn and pick stuff up and be like, no, that, that not so gaming dude, he, he wasn't very bright. He ran into some big problems he shouldn't have done. You know, give me those comments. Give me the, I want to hear your feedback. I know there's a pretty good community of guys that play this game. So, any kind of information to make this stuff better, let me know. Alright, so on our menu screen here, it is telling you about kind of what happened. It's telling you about our losses. It's telling you about how national morale is dropping. How our experience. Now, luckily, I didn't... I didn't fall in disgrace in the eyes of my men and public. That is actually really lucky considering we withdrew from the battlefield. I, he must have uh, done pretty bad, Colonel Rhodes. Because the fact that I left the battle, normally that's going to defame me. It's going to make it where it's really hard for me to get prestige and rank up. Because you want to you work on getting that fame up you know, through battles. Okay, so it says the defeat at Fairfax, Army of the Potomac in retreat. Colonel Rhodes loses face, and Lieutenant Colonel Alshire loses face. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch our troops retreat real quick, because that's exactly what's about to happen. It's going to tell us units routed, units routed, and then we're going to move to a new location. Alright, I want to pause that real quick. Okay, so he's moved us back about halfway between Alexander and Winchester. So, it is just to gather our thoughts. Now let's look at how my, how my regiment's looking. Okay. So I have 223 men alive, 35 disabled. Are we able to upgrade weapons yet? Unlikely, but might as well check. We are not. There's just not a lot of upgrading early game. Okay. Well, this is going to conclude our video for today. Please like and subscribe, and again, give me any feedback, um, any tips, tricks you may have learned, and as I continue to find little things, I'll help you all out too. All right, you all have a great day.